what's up people i'm back making another video uh today i need to make some uh da -da -da -da, what do i need to make oh i need to make uh well today i'm going to show you guys how to make uh uh a shirt from a piece of uh, art that my sister is gonna well she gave she gave me a piece of art so, so i'm gonna make her a shirt and i'm gonna show you guys how to make it so yeah but right now i'm at uh I'm at my storage facility because I got to pick up some shirts because I have a lot of stock in that storage bin. So, yeah, let's go get the shirt that she's going to be using. All right, I found the shirt in my storage bin, so let's get to work. All right, guys, if you don't have a sh the shirt that you guys want in stock, I'm going to show you guys how where to get them. I usually get them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. They usually, they're not too bad of the price. They're usually just three bucks, more or less three thirty with tax. But yeah, that's where I get them. All right, pretty simple, guys. You guys just want to take a picture of it, of the whatever shirt you want to make or whatever art you're going to use. This is the art piece that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to take a picture and then uh, upload it on the computer and then we'll see how it goes. All right, now that you finished uh, taking the picture, um, you want to upload it to your computer on picksvg.com. I'll leave a link to the website below if you guys don't know where to find it. But yeah, here's the website. You're going to be able to get different options for for the image. Uh, usually I would like edit it on a folder editing software. But since it's, it's a black and white image, um, I'm just going to put this in uh, into this into this uh, website. And the reason why I like SVGs is because, or if you don't know what an SVG is, SVG is basically a file type. If you expand it, yeah, it won't be all pixelated and stuff. And but the only thing with the SV SVGs is that you can only uh, you it mostly works for like single colors. And since like this is a single color uh, art piece, I'm just gonna use this uh, website to um to do that. Alright, now that you finished downloading the SVG that you wanted, you uh, open up GIMP, and then you drag that Im that SVG file into the into GIMP. So you just drag it. Uh, the reason why I don't just drag it into um, the Cameo software uh, be is because um, if you do, it won't it won't accept it because um, the, I don't know for some reason the Cameo software only accepts like PNG, JPEG. Uh, I don't know which which other file types, but SVG it won't it won't accept it, or you would have to actually like export it onto a different software to um to drag it onto the Cameo. But yeah, um, you just delete the background, or actually, since it's an SVG, the background's already deleted. But now you just have to uh, export it. Um, and, but rather than put uh .svg, you put dot png and then just export it and then find the file once you're done uh, exporting that the image all right now that you exported the image uh, it should be ready to go as a png file and then the cut file and then it's ready to cut as well since you exported it as a png onto the cameo software yeah, but since I'm using like a heat transfer vinyl, you have to uh, flip it horizontally. So when you press on the shirt, it comes out um, the way that you you want it onto the shirt, the way that it's supposed to be. And then you here the settings you could adjust the settings, but I think three is good for the kind of vinyl that I'm using. So yeah, should be good. And then just send it and. Set it, let it cut, and then we should be able to peel off the excess vinyl and then stamp onto the shirt. Alright guys, now it's ready to iron. I'm just going to put the... 
already uh, put it in the place that I wanted to on the shirt. So I just got to put the Teflon sheet on top of it. And I should be good to go. Alright, so I ironed it. Now I'm just like slowly peeling it off. It's coming out pretty good. Alright, so that's how it's going to look when you're done. I could have heat pressed this one, but you know. I just wanted I just want to keep experimenting with the iron seeing if it if how to like keep it stamped with just using an iron so I'm, I'm just experimenting with that so but yeah it came out pretty good check it out